I thought victimhood was bad. Oh my goodness. So it's truly sad to see what has become of the, the Republican Party, what's become of conservatism as a whole in modern times, because they're doing exactly everything that they accused the Democrat Party of doing. They're, they're now race baiting. They're now playing identity politics. They're now doing, you know, anti-black uh, uh, propaganda. And the only difference is they're now doing it for white people. It's really weird to see, you know, people talking about victimhood narratives and saying, hey, we're a victim. Hey, this is what's happening to us. Hey, they're targeting us. When all this time they told black people to just be quiet. When black people were saying, hey, we're being targeted, they said, hey, lift yourself up by the bootstrap. When they, you know, black people were saying, hey, this is happening to us, they said, hey, stop being a victim. You know, be a victor. And it really goes to show just the hypocrisy of it. And that hypocrisy turns into anti-black racism really fast. And the reason why I say that is primarily what I said previously, which is they're doing everything they told black people to get over and not do they're just doing it now for white people. In present day, uh, we have Charlie Kirk. Now, Charlie Kirk has been inf infamous for his, his anti-black sentiments, his anti-black statements. So bad where, you know, Trump has told him, hey, you know, take it easy. And he's coming out and putting out this propaganda towards his PWT, towards, towards his white community, towards, you know, the white ignorance of the Republican Party, unfortunately. And, you know, it's become they bastardize, you know, conservatism so much that all you really have to do to be, con be considered a conservative is talk ill of black people and praise MAGA. That's it. But he he's goes on this rant talking about how Jews, um, you know, everything they've done has come to bite them in the butt because now Jews are, you know, considered white. And they've promoted anti-whiteness, right? There's, he said for the last decade, there's been this anti-white sentiment where people now hate white people off the color of their skin. I have impatience for American Jews that have put up with the anti-white sentiments the last decade and thought it was perfectly fine. Because guess what, American Jews? You're considered white in the eyes of the Marxists. This is cut 67. I think this is illegal where they are forbidding Jewish students from going to class. So now Jews are experiencing the hate that we white people have been experiencing the last decade, and we've been warning against, hey, you know that there's like a lot of venom against white people because of the color of their skin? Ah, too bad. Floyd Palooza, BLM, diversity is our strength. And now all of a sudden Jews are saying, this kind of feels like how we got to Auschwitz. This doesn't seem right. And it's... <laughs> It, it, it's it's laughable because that's never happened in the in the history of this country. Never happened. Never. Even to this day, it's never happened. Any type of anti-white sentiment, first off, has either been misconstrued, or secondly, it's due to the action. It's the same principle that many of the white Republicans wanted to say. Hey, when it came to crime, well, you know about black on black crime, black on black crime. Now. We would be charitable and say, well, obviously you're not associating, uh, you know, uh, DNA or black people with crime. You understand that there are issues surrounding that criminality. Right. And they would say, oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Right. <laughs> it's that charitable. It's that charitable ness that was given to them, that was offered to them that they don't present to anyone else, unfortunately. So when you have them, when you have Charlie Kirk say anti-white, no. Many cases, when it comes to many of the, the, the studies or when it comes to the, the literature, talks about this concept of whiteness. But here's the thing. We didn't create whiteness. We didn't create this concept of whiteness, of being pure, of being righteous, of being, you know, always innocent. Hey, that's them. They're the ones that created this concept of whiteness, which still plagues us to this day. Present day, it plagues us. We can see this from the media. We can see this, you know, from the books, the literature, we can see this from the school system, we can see this education. There's a litness, litany of ways where they have infiltrated and conditioned people to view uh, groups of people a certain way. And the other is, like I said, it's just it's, it's, it's them wanting to be victims. 
And so Charlie Kirk thinks he's got this big bright idea by saying, hey, you played yourself. Because now there's this video where they're, st they're not allowing a Jewish, stu Jewish student in the school because he's Jewish, because they think he's white. And that's not true. What's happening on these college campuses, whether you agree with it or not, it has nothing to do with them being, you know, denying white people access to the school because it's white people who are doing the protests. It's predominantly white people at these universities who are holding the protests and they're doing this due to what they believe is a genocide uh, going on in Gaza. It has nothing to do with stopping people from entering the school based off the color of their skin. Like, what, what is this nonsense? We've seen black people being stopped, Asian people, and we've seen a, a, a slew of people being stopped from entering or, or from driving. He is attempting to make white people feel as if they're under attack. And the reason being is because he's going to use that energy, he's going to use that fear, and, and funnel it towards votes. That is always, it seems, that has always been the plan of attack. And, you know, he, he goes on to talk about how, you know, this, this seems very uh, familiar to, you know, what happened to Jews and how they weren't being allowed. And it's, it's really disgusting. It's truly disgusting that he would try and gaslight, uh, you know, white people of the Republican Party to make them feel that they have, they're being hated for the color of their skin, that there's some anti-white racism, that there's some boogeyman. Everything, everything, the identity politics, right? When it comes to Jews, now well, now you're white, you're, now you're like us. When it comes to the race baiting, when it comes to, you know, oh, they hate you because of the color of your skin. When it comes to just this disgusting, disgusting rhetoric that he is constantly promoting, that he is constantly propagating uh, uh, among, you know, the, the white community of the Republican Party. Because that's not going to help anyone. That's not. Because I think many people are sick and tired of hearing the Charlie Kirks of the world constantly lambast and, and you know and, and criticize black people. Just our existence, it, it renders criticism from these people. And, and Charlie Kirk knows better, just like the Kundas Owens know better. But unfortunately, there is an economy of that. And once that economy fails, they'll switch it up because that's what they are. They're grifters and they are grifting on the ignorance of their party. And it's just disgusting to see this. It's, it's really vile and wicked that the same people who want to talk about, well, the left is being divisive. We've got to unify the country and, and that they're just hypocrites. I don't see how this benefits the country. I really don't. And I sure as heck don't see how it benefits Trump. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe Lucas Lucas, he's speaking the truth. OK, white people are under attack and we've got to stand together and fight. Or if you have belief, what on earth are you talking about? Okay, go outside and touch grass. Stop living your life vicariously through the Charlie Kirks, through the, the, the Kundas Owens of the world and actually experience life. That is not happening, nor has it ever happened. And if that's what you want to believe, well, guess what? The people in positions of power don't look like me. They don't. They look like you. So once again, this goes back to the, the start of this country, white on white crime. That's what it is. White on white violence. That is what it is. That's currently what's going on presently. That's currently what has happened since the beginning of time. So you may want to check yourself on that one. But I know you're too busy you wanting to talk about black people. I get it. Um, nevertheless, if you happen to disagree, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement day. It's typically held, you already know, Friday, Sunday, call in, we duke it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think uh, about this election, about Charlie Kirk and the other provocateurs of this, uh, you know, political atmosphere. And subscribe and all uh, that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. Because guess what, American Jews? You're considered white in the eyes of the Marxists.